Tonight, the Minneapolis Police Department is again defending itself against accusations an officer went too far during an arrest. Video given to us late tonight shows a man with his hands on a squad car tasered in the neck. Reg Chapman talked with that man's lawyer tonight, and Reg joins us from the newsroom. Hi, Reg. Amelia, attorney Albert Goings gave me this videotape about 90 minutes ago. He's suing the city of Minneapolis on behalf of his client, Rolando Ruiz. They're asking for $75,000 and that the officer involved be reprimanded. The video given to us tonight starts only seconds before Rolando Ruiz is tasered. We do not see what led up to the incident. We don't see a struggle underway in the two seconds before the officer used his taser on Ruiz. What we do see is Ruiz had his hands on the hood of the officer's squad car. The dash camera was rolling when the officer approached Ruiz with taser in hand. Takes that taser, puts it to the back of his neck and shocks him until he's incapacitated on the ground slumped before the squad car. Going says his client's civil rights were violated. He wants the city to settle the claim out of court. If not, he says he and his client are prepared to take their case to federal court. A Minneapolis police spokesperson says Chief Tim Dolan has not seen the tape. The department is not saying anything about the incident because it is now a legal matter. Now, we are not naming the officer at this point because there were a number of officers on the scene and we haven't independently confirmed the name of the officer with the taser. Amelia? All right, Reg, thank you.